All right, Cook here. Today, making another video. This time, we're going out to the show. And like I said, I bought the car used. It was in good condition, but not perfect condition. There was a few things working on the car and not working on the car. Or this really just cosmetic things I needed to fix on the vehicle. Um, the dealership offered um, at one point when I called them back to replace um, the hood lifts on the car and they said they'll reimburse me for them if i ordered them so with that being said you know i found them on amazon and ebay for twenty dollars for two and actually i only needed one but i'm going to replace them both that's that is what's recommended so i'm going to replace both the hood lifts on the car so these are the hood lifts. they came in yesterday these are the hood lifts um, I ordered them off Amazon, uh, like I said, two for 20 and you can't beat that price. Um, um, from the dealership, they wanted about $80. Um, now, you could go to um, AutoZone, uh, O'Reilly's, and you can pick these up for about $25 to $30 each. So, but me, I'm a bargain. I went around, I looked around, I'm, I'm a person like to save, so I went to uh, Amazon, and I actually found both of them for $20, so that's the project for the day, to replace these, um, let me get these outside, and um, my job today is to replace the lift hood lifts, and I'm going to replace a reflector on the back of the vehicle. I'm going to get outside. I'm going to show you. It's a little windy, so be patient with me. But I'm going to get outside and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm about to replace on the vehicle, on the car. You know what I'm saying? On the show. And I'm about to set that down. And so this is what I'm about to replace on the back of it. So right there, it should be a reflector. That reflector is out. I don't know why it's not in. But see right here on the driver's side you have that reflector i also ordered that reflector it came in today too so we're going to replace that and we're going to replace the uh so with that being said i'm going to get back with you after i get things set up and we're going to replace the hood lifts on the vehicle so these this is the hood lift right here that um that is really bad it was actually leaking a little bit so this one is really bad, so we're going to be replacing that one first. And this is the engine compartment of the Taurus show. And so with that being said, this is the second one that's leaking, but not as bad as that one. We're going to be replacing both of these hinges. And I just want to make sure I get it right and I can film it and get you guys an accurate um, view of me replacing both hinges and how they easily pop in and pop off which i've been told it was easy but nothing is easy when you have to do it yourself so we're going to take a look at it and see if we can get it done but i'm once i'm done i'm going to go and i'm going to clean up the engine bay and um yeah just make it look a little bit better and more cleaner it wasn't bad but it's not bad but i'm going to make it look cleaner let's go so now we're going to attempt to replace the old lift gate with the um, new one so what you want to do is take your screwdriver and open up the hinge right here let me get the proper screwdriver that would be helpful so now that we have the proper size screwdriver we're going to take that we're going to pop that open so that we can remove this from it so it's removed that's the top and then we're going to pop this out and unhinge the bottom. So once again, let me get the proper size screwdriver. So that's for the top. And we have a little screwdriver for the bottom that fits in here. And what you want to do is pop that on and get that hinge to release. So that you can pop this off. And so it is out. So that's one hinge. 
we're gonna take a towel and we're gonna clean that up real quick. So now we got one of my little duty rags and we're gonna wipe that little ball up, clean it up a little bit. Same here. Clean it up. And we're going to put the new hinge on. So let's start from the bottom. Let's take it, press it on, and let's press the top on. So we're going to press the top, lift up a little bit, and we're going to press it on. Now this is on. So that is the first hood hinge. We're making sure and hopefully that they're adjusted and in place, but that's the first hood hinge. So we're going to sway that around and we're going to do this second hinge so that you can get a good idea how you do it. We're going to get that second hinge, making sure that my hood is secure and not falling. We're going to get that second hinge in, had to make sure the hood was secure. So, as simple as that could be. Hope the second one is just as easy. Pop off. right that's the second one the lighting ain't the best on this side so be patient And that's the second one. So the second one is off. So now we got both of the old ones off. We're gonna put the second new one back on. Let's wipe that up with my duty rag. Let's get that cleaned up. Get your hands a little dirty. Gonna pop that new one on. You just squeeze these on. That's the that one, and then this one is the second one, and we're done. That's it. So we have both hinges, we got both hood lifts on, and everything is secure. We're gonna take off the securing device, and there we go. So as you can see, I took this, this is what I had, just my little winter car scraper. That's what was holding the hood up. Now we have both lifts on, they're both open, and they're both doing their job. So what we're gonna do is see how they close. So we're going to drop it, secure it. So the hood is closed. And this is a completion of the video as far as I'm concerned. We're going to repop it and see how it pops open and stays open. So, what you want to do is go here, pop the hood, come back out. And raise your hood. Boom. We're done. Two new hood lifts. Now for the second part of the video is to pop that reflector in. And with that being said, just push the reflector in and everything is back to A1 when it comes to the back of the car. The reflector's in and I'm ready to go. Many hours later. So is your boy Cook. Back with another video about the show. So today I'm leaving work early. I got a package that came in for a slight upgrade for the show. 
Um, like I said, I bought the car used, and there were some things that was on it that I had to upgrade and update. Like they had to update the radio with the navigation system. Plus I had to upgrade the hood lifts. I had to upgrade for reflectors that were on the car that needed to be replaced because when you have a used vehicle, you're going to always have some things that are not right on it. Um, I ain't saying the person didn't take care of the car, but it wasn't right on the car and I want everything to be right. Um, I have uh, another small mission I have to replace is the uh, TPS, uh, the TPMS sensors on the vehicle. I got to get that done, but today I have a mild upgrade. So. The car didn't come with any car mats. And uh, here in Michigan, you gotta protect your, your carpet in your car. And so with that being said, um, I decided to um, order some car mats. And so I had a choice of three choices. Let me, I had a choice of three car mat places I wanted to do. I really wanted a custom car mat that shed the show on it. So I'm looking around to see where I can get that done at. So I'm gonna do that. That might just be what I rock in the summer. So as, as for right now, um, I decided to go with um, a WeatherTech type mat, um, car mat, which is like WeatherTech, but it's not WeatherTech. So I'm going to tell you why, in part of this video, why I decided to go with, it's called Husky Floor Mats. Why I decided to go with them over the um, WeatherTech assembler car mat. But like I said, it's gonna protect the carpet of the car. Because in Michigan, we get these nasty winters. And so I wanted to protect the carpet and um, as much as I can protect the car. And so with that being said, I'm gonna get back with you on the video about the mats I'm putting in. I'm gonna go home, put them in the house, go to my second job, get off my second job, wash the car, clean the car up, put the, uh, the floor mats in, and let you go and experience your experience with me. So like I was saying um, about the floor mats, to me, I know it's something small, but anything that you do to your vehicle that you can consider an upgrade, upgrade it. You know what I'm saying? And so like I said, not having the floor mats in the car, I wanted to upgrade to something nice. You know what I'm saying? Something decent that also will protect the carpet in the car. And that's why I did that. I went ahead and pulled the trigger. Um, like I said, I'm getting married and little over a month or so away. I don't want to spend a lot of money on doing upgrades right now until I'm, after I'm married, then I can go ahead and start really doing certain things into the build of the vehicle, uh, performance-wise. And um, right now, what I decided to do performance-wise is I'm just going to put a basic tune-up on the car. So um, sometime in August after I'm married, I'm going to, uh, I've done my research, I'm going to tune the vehicle up. It's not to prepare for the um, tune that I'm going to put the, uh, put on the car, but I am going to tune the car up because I want the car to run good and run nice. And so, like I said, the certain little things I'm going to be doing, um, and I'm going to video, let you see how I'm going to do the tune. I'm going to personally do the tune up myself, and um, I've done a, a tune up before on a vehicle. It's not the hardest thing. It's a basic tune. I'm going to change the spark plugs. I'm going to change the coils over plugs and I'm going to just do what I can do, the little things I can do um, this year on the car and preparing it for next year when I'm going to do some major upgrades and updates in, on the car. Alright, just pulling up to the crib. The mats are here. Sitting here waiting on me. So, we're going to get them in the house. Like I said, these are it. Take a look at them. weather beaters so i'm gonna give an explanation of why i decided to get these instead of the weather tech um as i do the video i go over that in the video but i chose these over the weather tech and they're supposed to be a custom fit so i'm hoping that they're a custom fit just like the weather techs are they say that they're custom made for the show and um we're going to go from there and i'm going to see if i'm liking how they look inside of the car okay so now that i'm home off of work off my second job we're going to unbox the floor mats by husky 
We're going to take a look at them, see, make sure these are the right ones. See if this is what I want to go with. I've already ordered them, so I'm pretty much going to go with them if there is the right ones. Or if they don't fit like I want them to fit, we're sending them back. But I'm hoping that they fit. We're going to do the unboxing of them. And we're going to take the car. We're going to wash up the car. We're going to clean up the inside, detail it a little bit. And then we're going to put the floor mats in. All right, so let's unbox these floor mats. And see how they look. This is for the front. This is one front side, one front side of the Huskies. I think this is the driver's side. You're supposed to be able to snap in. Don't look like they snap in, but that's the driver's side. We have the passenger side. And already I'm a little skeptical. And then this is the rear. Right here. So this is going to be the rear, and you have the side to go over the hump. So this is for the rear, right here, and we're going to have the instructions and manual, a little piece of paper, and I believe that's all that's in the box. Big box, but just that right there. So these are the Husky floor mats. So we're going to see if we like them. They are black. Um, they are kind of rugged. We're going to see how they stick and flip, flip it in there. And like I said, I was told that they snap in, but it doesn't look like they snap in. So it might be a, a plus or a bonus. Or it might be a fault, a con. All right, headed outside to clean up the car. Uh, about the Husky uh, car mats, I'm going to say this. Let me go through with the cons first. So the cons of it is that on the driver's side, I'm about to show you, it's not really a big deal, but I thought they would snap in place um, for the driver's side to keep it in place. But it does stay in place. I dry fitted them before I actually get to cleaning them out because the car needs to be vacuumed out. Um, it rained here in Michigan a few days ago and I didn't take time but to wash it but not to clean out the inside because I knew I was getting the car mat so I didn't do any of that. So the biggest thing and the biggest issue like I said, let me show you, is that right down here, I thought that they would snap in place right here. I thought they would snap over this. They didn't snap over that. And so that's a con for me. But it does fit snug. They're not going anywhere. And that's a pro. Um, another con is, to be for real with you, I don't think they're as quality, as quality as the weather techs. But that's not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? As long as they protect the carpet and everything like that. And I can spray them off when I need to spray them off. I can wipe them down when I need to wipe them down. It's a big con, a big pro for me. I'm sorry, not a con, but a big pro for me. Because at the end of the day, there is a $100 difference. So I am all about savings. There's a $100 difference between the WeatherTech and the Husky floor mats. Um, the other floor mats I got that you'll see in the video. Let me point up. It'll be a little video that you'll see that on, on the right or the left of me that you will see is a different floor mat that I wanted to get for the vehicle, but it's more decorative. I saw it in one of my homeboys' car. And so to be honest with you, I think that I'm going to get them or if I can find me a custom place that make floor mats decorative for the color scheme I want to go with the show, I'm going to purchase that, find a place, and I'm going to have it custom and, and, be, and bordered with the show on it and have it to the color scheme I want which is probably going to be black and yellow inside um, all black little yellow trim to match my color scheme of the vehicle and that's what I'm looking for so if it was up to me 
that's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. As far as riding in the summer, in the winter time, I will hold these Husky uh, car mats down all day, just like I said, because you got that snow, that ice, and the rain when you get in the fall and the winter. And so I'm not under impressed with them but i wish that uh that one side with the driver's side would have locked in place that's what i was hoping for but it's no big deal it's not a big issue so with that being said i'm going to get the car cleaned up the car mats in and i'll show you the finished look of how they look and you should go get you some bottom line you're trying to save money and you don't want to spend weather tech money get the huskies if you want to spend weather money weather tech money and spend you a couple hundred dollars don't cheap yourself out i'm not going to tell you not to don't cheap yourself out all right let's go okay so i got them vacuumed out and i got the car mats in and this is a quick look of how it looks right here like i said not really bad i have heard that the weather text right in here that you would tuck that under this lip right here but with the huskies you don't as you can see they're not going anywhere it fits custom um for the most like i said i'm happy with it you know what i'm saying it doesn't take away from the from the car so i'm i'm happy with it and the back looks good too so let's take a little quick look at the back so here's the back like you said like i said look it fits custom right there and that's going to protect the carpet in that middle section my grandbabies get in um people with their big feet get in however it goes you know what i'm saying it's going to protect you know what i'm saying so as you can look and see that's on one side And this is the other side of the back. You see, it looks good. You know, like I said, it's going to protect. I'm not worried about it. It is a custom fit. Um, and I'm happy with it. Like I said, you're talking about $140 versus spending $230 for the weather tax. And it's going to do what it's supposed to do. And that's protect the carpet as far as what I want it to do and keep it looking uh, pristine. And, um... Uh, Hey, it's black. You can get them in gray. And I think you can get them in a, a tan or a beige, whatever color you want to call it. But it looks good, you know. And like I said, I'm not upset with the purchase. And uh, Husky, guaranteed for life. That's what they tell you. If it has any defects in it, you can send it back to them. I think you get a, war a year warranty or two. I know it says for life, but I think it's like a one or two year warranty on that. You know what I'm saying? So, and they're made in the U.S. A. Just like WeatherTech, they're made in the USA. That's a bonus. So, that right there sums it up. I'm going to finish wiping down the, the, the show. I'm going to get the windows cleaned up off camera, the dash cleaned up off camera. Then I'm going to wash it off camera. I just wanted to show you me cleaning up, putting the floor mats in, enjoying the nice summer day here in Michigan. So, in the 734. It's seven, three, four, the show. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get the car cleaned up. Enjoy your day. I'm going to enjoy mine, playing with my baby, and having fun. Let's go. Cook.